Hey guys, it's Robert from Redneck Brewing here with part three update to my HD antenna system. Now, when I built it last year, and it's been exactly a year now, I kind of cheaped out on one element of it. Uh, I bought an outdoor uh, amplifier, and it's outside, and I ran into a couple of problems with it. One, here it does get down below freezing, and anytime I got uh, below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, I would start losing signal. And then this summer, as it got hot, the hotter it got, I started losing signal again. Those two things combined, now that amplifier is going out on me. Channels that I wasn't having any issue getting now are coming in and out. So I'm making another update to my system. I'm actually adding a Channel Master uh, antenna or a Channel Master amplifier. This one is made to go outside and it will, it's made to take the temperature swings uh, that I see in this area of East Tennessee. So let's get to it. So here's a closer look at the amplifier. It is a one port amplifier. Now you may remember that I have two TVs that I'm actually feeding off this one antenna, but since I'm using the TiVo, I only need one feed in because the TV in the bedroom is actually using one of the tuners on my TiVo. So I haven't opened this up yet. All I've done is cut the tape off the bottom. So let's see what's in the box. Don't return it to where you bought it. I actually bought this thing on eBay. So anyway, this is a little piece of coax cord. This is actually how it gets power. There should be a wall wart in there. You screw this into the bottom of the wall wart and it feeds power back into the amplifier. Let's take a look at this. That should be the wall wart. And there it is. As you can see, you just screw it into the bottom of that and it back feeds power back into the amp. Here is the amplifier itself. And the power goes in here, and then the signal in or out goes here, signal in or out goes here. This is a bi directional um, amplifier, so it can use like cable signals if you have to talk to the cable company if you're using the cable box. That right there is also a ground screw. Um, I'm not going to be using that. I have my system grew, uh, grounded other places. Well, this is the first time I have opened this box since I closed it up for the video that I shot on it. And let me tell you, this seal on here works extremely well. I had to pry that thing off. You can see some of the remnants of it left on the box. So it, it has remained very dry in here. So it looks like it's not a moisture problem at all. It's just a problem of the temperature and this thing not being able to take the temperature differences. So now I'm going to take this off. I'm going to switch it out with our new one. And hopefully my problem uh, is going to be solved with the leaving the, or dropping the channels that shouldn't be dropping. Now you do see two outs here. I'm only going to be using one of the outs. Um, I'm pretty sure that that is the one that I'm needing to use. I'll find out real quickly after I get this hooked up if I'm wrong and I'll just come out here and switch it if I am. So I'll see you after I hook up the new one. Well, there you go. I was wrong. It was the other one, so I had to change out the wires, but that wasn't a big deal. Now the only thing is figuring out how to get all this cram back in there. <laughs> 